Hey, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. I pray you're doing well. Gosh, um, things are getting really wacky. First off, um, don't don't go watch the new Barbie movie. It's demonic. Um, just don't. You're wasting your money. And uh, you're just partnering with the beast system if you do. So don't do that. One of the main things I wanted to bring up is what is coming. I, I've mentioned this on many occasions. If you go back to my videos, uh, my daughter actually came to me that she had a dream about the tribulation. As a matter of fact, she was witnessing the executions that were taking place during the tribulation. And she, in fact, was even in line. She was at the point where she was actually being strapped into the apparatus, which is much like a guillotine. However, it actually would pull your head off. So I challenge you to go back through my videos and take a look at that. And also, if you go back through my videos, I touch on a couple things uh, the Lord showed me in, in multiple dreams, actually, uh, about what will take place in the, in the tribulation, about how they're going to round people up. And, and uh, the, the, uh, the dream I have is extremely detailed. I go into it for, for quite a while. I challenge you to go back to take a look. Now, if you want to see these things, I'm just going to have you go back through my videos. The reason being I've noticed, I just said this in my last video, unless someone seeks something out for themselves, it has zero value to them. Things that I've told people dozens of times, it is literally as if I never spoke them word, their, those words to them. And over and over, I say the same thing. If you really want to check these things out, which I highly recommend, they were absolutely incredible. About what will take place in the tribulation, the most horrendous things you can imagine. But this is set as a warning. This is not to scare anybody. However, if you were making plans to go into the tribulation, which... There are many within the body of Christ who actually are, which just baffles me. I'm waiting for my blessed hope. I'm waiting for my Lord and Savior. I'm waiting upon the Lord until he arrives and appears in the clouds and brings me up to him. That's what I'm waiting for. If you're waiting for the Antichrist, if you're waiting to go into the tribulation, if your church is telling you that you are going into the tribulation, go to a different church. I'm just laying that out there. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. We were not destined to wrath. We are not subject to death in Hades. Jesus Christ holds the keys of death and Hades. And at the fourth seal, it'll be opened. At the fourth seal, we are raptured. The fifth seal shows there are people now in heaven and they just arrived there. They just get their robes. And the sixth seal shows the full wrath of the Father perpetuated by Jesus Christ because he opened the seals, will fall upon the earth. It is very clear that the fourth, fifth, and sixth seal, well, let me put it this way. They seem to be opened at the same time or literally almost at the same time. What I was shown during the tribulation, these wild beasts, when you look at the fourth seal, it's very descriptive of what's going on. First off, death comes with hell or Hades following him. Okay? And again, Jesus Christ holds the key. Jesus Christ holds the keys of death and Hades or death and hell. He holds the keys. When death and Hades come, they're going to conquer a part of the earth with the sword, the sword of the red rider, with pestilence, the pestilence of the white rider, with famine, with famine of the black rider, and with wild beasts of the earth. 
the wild beasts are those who took what the white rider brought, the toxin of the white rider. Perpetuated by the sharp pointed instrument or the sword of the red rider. And they'll be under the judgment of the black rider. That is who the wild beasts are. They were once human beings and no longer human in the eyes of the Father, no longer human in the eyes of Jesus Christ. But now, because they made a conscious choice to take what the white and red rider brought, they were under judgment of the black rider, and now the pale rider, when he is released, and all hell breaks loose on the earth because the restrainer is removed, because the Holy Spirit is removed, lawlessness will be everywhere. And because they made the conscious choice to change how the Father made them, at its very core, they are no longer human in the eyes of the Father, but they are a wild beast. Did you ever wonder why when uh, Joshua was going through the promised land, they had to slaughter every man, woman, and child? Well, why didn't he at least just take the women hostage as servants and, and just raise the children up in the admonition of the, of the Lord is because those civilizations were not human beings. They were descendants of the Nephilim. And I challenge you to go back and study what that really is. It's funny how people literally just put their fingers in their ears. They don't study. They don't seek the Lord. There's a reason why he destroyed them. They were not humans. As a matter of fact, when you study... They knew this. They even called them the soulless ones because they knew they could never inherit the kingdom. And they called them dead men walking because they knew they were never able to enter into heaven. They were queer creatures that were never supposed to come about. Obscure, different, other than human. I hope you understand what I'm saying. You must open your eyes to these things. In my dream, during the tribulation, I challenge you again to go back and take a look at it. Was, it blew me away when the Lord gave it to me. But they were rounding people up and putting them on ships to take them somewhere. And they were using these beasts to corral people up like sheep. And isn't that poetic? Because the sheep, the sheeple do not want to open their eyes to what's going on. The people were being corralled up like sheep. And there were skirmishes and there was war and there was battle going on and people were on the run. And there was a few within the military trying to fight off what was happening. But it was like two fashions of the government were fighting against each other. The good and the bad, if you will. And they are trying to take people in ships to receive the mark or to be executed. That's what I was shown. Take a look at it and, and go back and watch my daughter's video about that she was in line for execution because she would not receive the mark. And instead of actually cutting people's heads off, my daughter said she was put in this device and she was shown that they were pulling people's heads off. Listen, we are at the final hour. What they've gave everybody is to change how the Father made them. Everything that you're waiting for in the tribulation was already inside of what they gave everybody. The nanotechnology, being able to track, being able to do financial transactions, and also because they are now no longer human, but a wild beast, some things are going to happen to people. Listen, I know these things sound just crazy. We are living in crazy times. We are living in crazy land now. 
the United States is mystery Babylon. We will be destroyed first. At least a big portion of us will be destroyed. The things coming upon the earth are horrendous and demonic and terrible. However, you have a choice. You can make the choice today, even if you claim to know Jesus Christ, but refuse what we call, as Christ followers, a rapture. And maybe you're even fighting against this. I challenge you to truly study scripture, not what your church says, not what your mom and dad says, but truly study scripture and listen to what Jesus Christ says. Fully submit to him, fully commit to him, and trust and believe. And even Jesus himself says, pray that you are counted worthy to escape all these things that will happen upon the earth and stand before the Son of Man. To escape, not to endure, however many will endure, and those are the tribulation saints, those are the people that go into the tribulation after the rapture, after the body of Christ, after the bride of Christ is removed and taken into heaven, with the Holy Spirit, those left behind will either realize that they blew it or that they fully commit to Jesus Christ and, hey, look, well, I don't want to do what they're wanting me to do, so I'm going to trust in Jesus Christ, and the truth will be revealed to them. And now they will be martyred for their faith. There will be many. Revelation tells us about a large quantity of people, unnum you know, too, too, too much to number will come out of the tribulation. John was shown this. And they have palm branches in their hands. Look to see who those who have harps in their hands are. Those are the ones that were raptured. Listen. You're so close to the end. I'm making this video to encourage you that you do not have to be here during the tribulation. Choose Jesus Christ wholeheartedly. Choose to be taken in the caught up. I know people freak out and lose, just go bananas and lose their marbles over when you say the rapture. When the rapture is a term for an event. You got those people, oh, rapture's not in the Bible. It's like, well, listen, the word Bible is not in the Bible. We call it every day. And rapture is in the Bible. Rapture is a term from the Latin word rapturo. In the original Greek language, it was harpazo. When it was translated into Latin from Greek, it was rapturo. When it's translated from, from Greek into Latin, and then when it was translated from Latin into English, it was caught up. It's describing an event. You're focusing on the wrong thing, man. We are, this is such dire times. But we're playing, we're, we're playing with God when he's telling us that he wants us to be with him and refusing him. Don't refuse him. Embrace him. He loves you. He's providing a way out of here. He's making a way for you to be rescued. If you have unforgiveness in your heart, you must put that aside and forgive. If you have unbelief in your heart, you must believe. Trust and believe wholeheartedly in Jesus Christ. If you took something over the past couple of years that they made everybody take, repent for taking it, please do it before the Holy Spirit, the restrainer, is removed, before the age of grace ends. Please repent. Please repent. Go back to my video uh, about the man that repented after uh, receiving what they gave everybody. He's a changed man. Please hear this message. Jesus Christ is offering you the most amazing and wonderful gift of eternal salvation in him, in the most amazing and wonderful place in existence, heaven. Please today, please today, hear this message. Focus on Jesus Christ. We are almost home, my friends. I love you. 
It is in the name and by the precious blood of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega, the only Son of the Father in Heaven, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Savior of mankind for those who want to be saved. He's offering it to everybody. Choose him today. I love you. In Jesus' name, I send this message and pray. Bye-bye.